Hi guys, Frostfang here and welcome back once again to another Paragon video. Today we're playing Countess. I, I don't know why, but I felt like playing Countess. I played her once before and that is it, so hopefully I don't suck too bad. I was going to play the new character, Wukong, but decided not to. I think I'm going to level the E. Yeah, that's the one I wanted to level. Got it right. Okay. Playing Countess. I've got a built it out, which as you can see is a lot more, more, lot more attack oriented than the default one, but hopefully it works. Let's just get these going, sorted. So Countess is an assassin, as you could probably guess by the two stabby blades and the red hair and the assassin look. Overall, really cool design, really like her abilities, look awesome, her animations are awesome. Hopefully I can do her justice. Was gonna make a video on Wukong, decided not to, because one, he gets picked all the time and I've been trying to queue with him and pick him five matches in a row I didn't get him. I got him once, but I didn't want to do, obviously, a first impression because I wanted to have at least a little bit of an idea of what I was doing first. And that ended up not happening. So I might do a Wukong video in the future. I'm just going to stick to playing Countess today and hopefully having some fun. I also don't have the highest energy levels right now, so it makes sense to just do a little bit more of a relaxing character where I don't have to spend as much time explaining. If you want to see a kit, there it is. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to read over it. I don't know it that well myself. I know that E does this and burns people. You've got your Q, which is your... Is that the teleport? That's the teleport, which also slows them and everything. Your right click is like a little spin, and your ultimate is a bit like Loki's ultimate if you ever played Smite. Let's get this out. My job is to clean wards. Not sure exactly what the meta is. Haven't played enough to know that yet. I'm also not sure what I meant to do as a jungler. I don't usually play jungler. I usually play either a damage character like an ADC equivalent, or what's it called? Brain's dead. Or I play an assassin but don't really play as the jungle role. So, yeah, things. I'm also probably in quite a low elo, so it doesn't make that much of a difference. This is taking way longer to clear than I expected, so we're just going to get one of them. Again, wards. Damn, this is the first match I've played where people are actually warding. H hello? O okay. Not going to ask. Uh, a Wait for it. This is a boom. 66 damage. So we're going to level the E because I find myself using that a hell of a lot. It's like our main sort of wave clear ability. Our Q is really strong too. The spin is nice, but it's not crazy. Also, I now know who, which character that is. It's the healer and it fucking sucks. I played as her. She's pretty good. Uh, going against her sucks though because that slow root combo really is annoying as hell to go against. Like it really, it, it's not fun. Don't, don't, don't be that guy who, who does the, the healer ability. Don't, don't play a healer unless you, you know, you know, you want to. Because this, this right now what's happening to me, that, that sucks. Now I'm dead. I called it. First time playing against that character. I think his name's Murdoch. I could be wrong. Murdoch. First time playing against him, so I don't know his kit just yet. And I died, and somebody said, good job. Ah, isn't it great? You know what's more great? When you queue, I got to pick Wukong twice, and then someone leaves the lobby. Isn't that great? They left because they didn't get Wukong, because, you know, they BM'd me in the in the, the pre-game thing as well. So that's always nice to see. Good good, good amount of sportsmanship in a mob. It's a stereotype at this point. Oh, come on. Am I gonna am I die to this? I shouldn't die to this. I should be okay. Should is the key word there. You know what? We're gonna retreat just in case. Just in case. Playing like trash at the moment. I am aware. Yeah, we leveled up though, because he came in to finish it. Nice. And we will level the... Oh, we'll level the right click, because it's got a nice passive. It restores 2% health per minion killed and 10% per hero killed. I wonder why they put that on the, the spin and not like the Q or something. Odd. I guess because it would make the Q really simple. She's quite mana hungry though. She's not ridiculous, but she's quite mana hungry. Don't know if she's a top tier character because I have no idea about that sort of stuff. If there's like a website I can see to like see a tier list, that'd be really helpful. Because I the first video I made on Paragon was playing Iggy, who is supposedly one of the worst characters in the game. And then I moved over to Kami Kamira? Kamira, and had so much better over time. But the game was enjoyable even playing Iggy, who's supposedly one of the worst. Although I, that's probably controversial, I don't know. Either way, if, you had, if there's a tier list for Paragon, I'm going to probably look it up after I, fi I finish recording this video, but it'd be kind of cool to see. I actually started playing Hearthstone a lot more recently, just on my mobile. Not really not really mobile, why did I say mobile? On my phone, not really playing on PC, just on my phone, like while a video renders out or something. I don't know. It's been a while. I'm just picking up old games at this point. I haven't played Smite that much, though, recently. I played The Adventure, and that's kind of it. Oh, there's two people here. Hello, Murdoch. Don't kill me, please. I hate that blind. The, the healer is just an annoying class to go against. They usually are in any game anyway, but the healer, specifically in Maragon, can go suck a fat one. Not as much as my hay fever, though. If you follow me on social media, you know what I'm talking about, but my hay fever's been pretty damn bad recently, and that's why there was no video yesterday, for those of you that were wondering. Because I had some of you ask. 
So, yeah, that's why there was no video yesterday. My hair fever was just like, you know what? You can just spend hours sneezing. Didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. Oh, well. Q. I'm actually defending this lane decently. Kind of. Kind of. Murdoch is weird. I haven't been against him before, so I'm not really sure how I'm meant to deal with him. I, I, I haven't played every character yet. I play most of them, just not every character. Man, this is going to take me way too long. I'm using a custom deck, which might not be the best idea. Because I built it after playing her once. At least we got one of them. Man, I'm gonna die off. Yeah, okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna not do that. Don't look at me like that. I swear to God. <laughs> Let's back. We can actually get an item now and give us some power or something. Everybody's gone for the same same one here. Actually, wait, no. Some of them haven't, but they just look the same. Okay. Uh, crit chance. Ooh. Yeah, crit chance and pen. Actually, wait, no. Crit. No, no. Crit chance and power. Yeah, crit chance and power. I've learned to build a bit better since I built the deck right now, so this one might be a little bit off. I'm in no way giving you a recommendation to build this. If you played Paragon for any decent amount of time, you'll probably have a better idea than I do. Ah, oh, there goes our tower. Wukong is a lot of fun, though. I played one game with him. He's a lot of fun. That's the healer just pulling him away. I do deal a decent amount of damage. It's the thing of, like, the only fight I've been in has been a, a 1v2, which really does suck, obviously. Let's use that too there. Uh... Go help right, I guess. I'm gonna go help right. I know I should be doing my buffs and stuff, but I don't want to die, so I'm kind of mixing my jungling with, like, helping in lanes. The effects are so pretty. So it got me instantly when I saw someone play. I was like, those effects are really nice. Which character is that? And then I gave her a go. Don't know if she's any good, though. She's fun. She doesn't feel ridiculously strong. Her ult's pretty nice, though. Damn, I'm nearly dead here. Luckily, that, sh that gives me a shield, so I'll be okay. Yay! Not level 5 yet, although I'm not technically underleveled. There's actually a person who's under me, so that's always nice. Uh, we'll definitely be leveling that E. She's simple, though, which is why I like it, because you can pick her up and you pretty much know exactly what you're meant to do. I can't... Oh, I can activate a potion in spawn? No, I don't think that works. Let's go. What's her jump like? She's not got a very good jump. On the scale of best jumps, she's pretty low down, i got to say. Decent, though. <laughs> why am I rating a character's jump right now? Oh, let's go. Kick his ass. Rip. I haven't got one of those banners. I've got a few skins now, though, which is nice. I haven't put any money into the game on, like, packs or anything. But I have got a couple skins, which is kind of fun. Should we go left? Double cheeky gank on left. Actually, no, I'm going to clear this instead. In the jungle, killing the dudes. Their dudes, not the dudes. Come on. Yes, nice. Okay. Getting a bit of a getting a bit of lag today in Paragon. Don't know why. I think that might be because the update came out today. I'm not running that way. No, sorry. I think I'll give a, a smooth pass on finding you two again. <laughs> I, think I, I think I'll give it a, a, a nice little maybe next time on fighting those guys. Let's go do this instead. Well, I've learned a lot from the comments you guys have been leaving me. I really do appreciate it because you actually helped me out a ton. Because it's pretty hard to find, like, guides that I, I find interesting on Paragon. I've seen quite a few, but a lot of the time I end up just tuning out and not paying attention, which is bad. But the comments that you guys have been leaving me have been really helpful, so thank you for that. And also, just the support in general on playing Paragon is always nice to see. Yeah, we're just going to back away here just in case like, they kill me. There's somebody here. Okay, I'm safe. Panicked just a bit when I, when I saw him. Turn around the corner. God damn. And we are off. Okay. I want more power. Don't really want crit chance. I want power because mainly I'm not really using my basic attacks that much just yet. So power on her seems to make sense. What is this person going for? Strike token. I've never seen that before. It's a rare passive and he's got three of them. I think getting cards will make a difference. I haven't really looked into it all that much. I've been pretty much sticking with the ones that I've just been given from packs and stuff. I know you can craft cards. Is it worth doing though? See, that, that strike card seems like it'd be really helpful for the start of matches. Man, the effects in Paragon are so pretty. I, st I stick with my statement that this is the prettiest MOBA. I'm yet to find one that is as visually pleasing as Paragon. But that seems like a really strong card. Six power for, like, one cost. And obviously you'll sell them later on, but... That seems really strong. I don't know if I even have that. I might have that already. I'm not sure. And I just don't have it in a deck. I don't think I do, though. It's a universal card. I think I would have seen it. Is there anything else that I need to look at? The wrong thing. I was going to hold tab. It's weird. You can walk whilst holding tab, but you can't walk with the shop open. I'm so used to smite where you can walk with the shop open. It's weird. That seems quite nice as well. 
Damn. Okay. What people seem to do is people seem to just rush to get the bonus effect instead of, like, putting three points into each upgrade, which makes less sense the more I think about it. People tend to just, like, get w level, like, one mana upgrades on a card so they get the benefit from it, if, if that makes sense. Like, what he's done here, which is just rush minor cast on all of them instead of going for big expensive three mana upgrades on it, if you know what I mean. I think that might make more sense. So I'm going to fiddle around with it a little bit after this video and hopefully change some stuff around. Again, though, comments always appreciated. Lag is not, though. Right, level five. So Murdoch and the healer are the same level as us. I don't feel too bad right now. I think we're more oriented towards late game anyway, so it's not really a big deal. We're an assassin who can stab things. They're usually better off later on in the match, from my experience in other games. Should we go right lane? I haven't ganked right lane once. Still not sure exactly how that middle thing works. I think it gives us credits if they don't touch it. And you can go touch theirs and, like, destroy it so they don't get credits and stuff. I know how it works roughly, I think. Level that E again. Dark Tide is what I'm, what I'm feeling because it requires no skill to land. Because it's just a massive, like, I guess, triangle and then an oval at the end. Does it go through walls? If I do it here, will I hit her? Oh, I will go through. Okay, I guess it goes over. Didn't know that that would work, actually. Let's use our jump. The range on this is really small, by the way. I overestimated the range on this. It's, like, pretty short. Like, you can see it there. It's pretty damn small. I thought it was a lot longer than that. And there have been times when I've just been walking towards somebody like this, waiting for them to be in range. Let's clear these guys. Boom. Okay, that deals some damage now. That does deal some damage. All right. I need to level up, though, because I'm, I'm level six. Actually, actually, we're okay. We're okay. Yay, Wukong killed the healer lady. Don't know the names yet, like I said. Don't know all the classes even, so. Tower new. No. Oh. Oh, a bit of a spicy, spicy hit or two there. Oh, wow. That's annoying, Wukong. He can, like, push you out with his right click. It's really kind of frustrating. It's fun to do, though, pushing people into towers. Other than that, it ends up ruining a lot of plays, though. Where's he run? Did he run this way? I swear I thought he ran this way. I guess I was off. That's definitely the only thing that's dealing damage right now. Basics deal fuck all, but that right click at least does something. Right click, it's an E. What am I talking about? There we go. Just doing the jungle. Crits help. Crits help us actually deal something. And we're dealing like 10% of our damage to people next to him, which is nice. So we, I think every character can hit multiple people other than the ranged ones. I think melees can... They, can, or they all kind of have like a sort of cone attack that deals a bit of damage to minions next to the one you're hitting, which is nice. Use that too to, to give us some mana back. Man, having a bit of a rough time freaking clearing everything now. There we go. And we come back. Two points to spend. That's not enough to upgrade when I want to upgrade, is it? No, I need one more. Is it three or four? I need the one that's four, don't I? Crap. And it's dead? It's dead. There we go. And right click. I'm not engaging anywhere near as much. I'm being much more careful this match than I usually am because I don't want to die a ton. I don't want to, like, ruin the match for my team, so I'm being really careful. Like, I want to gank, but they're all grouped up. They're, they're playing very well in comparison to people I've ma been matched with before. These people seem to actually know what they're doing. Unlike me, who doesn't have much of an idea at all. I'm going to help left lane. I'm going to help this dude now. Oh, come on. Here we go. Ruin the healer lady. Hit her with the ult. Where's she gone? Hello? There's the ultimate. Boom. Let me throw the E. I'm out of mana. Okay, don't matter. Out of mana, don't matter. That actually worked. Holy crap. Can I hit you, please? Thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to keep hitting you. Ah, come on. Just die. Just kill this kill this dude. Kill this motherfucker right now. Please, somebody just run and help. I'm not going to get close enough. I've not got any mana. That helps. And I get pushed away. Are you fucking kidding me? Ah, you son of a bitch. The monkey's on the left. We're running away from Mr. Wukong over there. I've got no mana. I said she was kind of mana hungry. I didn't think she was this mana hungry. I didn't think I'd run out considering I've got two actives that give me my fucking mana. Oh, well. We got six points. We got a kill. Did we get a kill? We did. So at least we're, 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 we're breaking even right now, which is better than nothing. Boom. So right now we get crit chance power with crit chance. We've got 32 crit chance already, which is pretty damn high. The thing is, though, these people clearly have way better stats than us. Hunger Maul, that seems really, really strong. Uh, what else he got there? Okay, that's the same item as me. Everybody seems to have this very similar items. 
but some people have much better ones and I guess there are those people that have like paid to open crates and stuff could be wrong though there we go I made sure I got her at the end of that which I think I did hey okay getting a bit better now as I said we're getting towards the later game the later side of it which is much better for me as the character I'm playing right now don't know if that's a general rule for countess but for me I feel much better off with her later on in the match there we go Ah, oh, you got that shield. I thought I was. I thought I stole it off him. Give me the stab. Hit him with a good old stabby stab. Come on, I hit the E, please. Can I use my E, please? I'm out of mana. Are you fucking kidding me? I thought I was good on mana. I guess not. Oh, that was dumb. So I used my ability set once and ran out of mana. Like I used my. No, okay. I guess I used it like once and a half and I ran out of mana there. Fuck. I wasn't keeping an eye on my mana. I thought I was good because I was like, I, I thought I engaged with like nearly full. I did engage with nearly full. I had a, like a, a little mini fight with a healer lady earlier on, but I thought I had nearly full mana there. That was completely my bad for not looking at my mana. Fuck. He was dead. If I just had that E on him, he'd have been a dead man. Also, if you're wondering what these things are on my arm and like, which, yeah, all up here and everything, mosquito bites. It fucking sucks. Okay. G, let's go. Uh, crit chance. I don't really want more crit chance, to be honest. I want power. Blade of Agora. Stinger. Stinger boost's really nice on her, so we're just going to wait. We're just going to have to wait it out again. I don't have much early game stuff set up for her, so we're just going to have to wait till we get a little bit later on. Which does suck, but the matches for Baragon tend to go on long enough anyway, so it's it ends up not being too bad. If I crit, I deal a lot of damage. If I don't, I deal, like, hardly anything. It's like, it's like 18 comparison to 120, which is quite a big jump. Oh, the hell just happened. <laughs> Teleported forward. A bit weird. And dead. There we go. Slowly doing the thing. Just picking off individual minions here, which is not a very efficient thing to do. But we're doing it anyway. I'm going to go help left lane. One more hit. There we go. Let's go help. Let's go do the thing. We do regen as well when we kill minions a little bit, which is nice. I love the fact that there's verticality. That's like one of my favorite things about Paragon. Because I've always wanted other MOBAs to have a vertical aspect. Um, this is kind of like the only game that I've seen that has it and uses it properly. Um, did they just take no damage from what I did? I'm just going to ult you now, heal lady. What just happened? I'm kind of clueless. But at the same time, we seem to have won that fight. Somehow. I'm still really confused what's happening. I think we won and did the thing better than they did the thing. Yeah, they seem to have four dead. We have three dead. Okay, so we 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 won that fight. Fuck, that was confusing. Like I I ulted, but I I like ulted in a wall, and then it relocated me. I think that was a connection thing more than anything else. There, that was fucking weird. Let's get these minions out. That was odd as hell. That was just that was just weird. That was simply weird. That's literally the only word I can use to explain how that's that just fought out. Odd, man. I don't even really know what happened there. We can clear it really fast now though. Like I said, we're slowly getting into the later side of the game, which means we can actually deal more damage and stuff. Yay, three of them. There we go. See, we're we're starting to steamroll a little bit. Just a little bit, not much. Once we get past level ten, I think it'll be a lot easier for us. Mana is still an issue, though. Never had to really worry about mana on her before, but that gives us some, so I might go Stinger Boost. Yeah, we'll go Stinger Boost, sure, because I've got attack speed on here and mana, so yeah, so I'll get a bit of, ex bit of extra mana, which is what I feel like I need right now. Also, the passive on it's really, really nice. After we use an ability, we get, like, bonus attack speed. Not attack speed. Um, On the next basic attack, we get a, a buff to it, which is really nice. Essentially, after we use an ability, next basic attack deals bonus stuff. Hell yeah, that's what I want. That's what we want in cards. Do we go? Do we go face on or do we try go around? Try go around. Yeah, let's try go around. See if that works out. Gonna use my mana thing before we go in. Man, that blind sucks. I don't like that at all. It's so disorienting. It lasts for so damn long. Man, that's just, just disruptive as all hell when you get blinded. Minions, can you can you not let me teleport away from you, please? I know it's not it's not your fault, minion, but still, can you stop letting me teleport away. I don't like it. Let's go kill this person. Oh, hello, you're level seven, actually. Yeah, you're dead. Yay! Wow, the heal that you get from killing someone is actually quite large. 
Let's get some more mana regen up in here. Oh, I'm feeling like maybe a little bit of a little bit of a jump on Mr. I'm in middle lane. What? There we go. Alright. Three to two. That's alright. Let's back. We're still level eight, but I got three points, which means I can upgrade something and regen my mana and everything. Let's go. The recall time is quite long, but that's a good thing, because or else you just recall all the time. Um let's get more mana. Sure. Now I got nine hundred. It's worth it. Let's go. I definitely feel like I need more mana with her. What does this even do? Next 15 seconds, extra mana, regen, restore, 12 mana. Okay. So it gives us an extra mana when we take damage, basically. Not very useful, but it's better than a ward. I don't really use wards all that much, which is probably a bad thing. There we go. Starting to deal some damage, though. As you can see, it no longer takes us an, an eternity to clear these things. Uh, level that R for sure. We want our ultimate capped out, although I think I might have accidentally not done that a couple levels. That's fine, though. Hello, monkey man. You missed your thing, which means you're probably dead. <laughs> nice. He missed his he missed his right click, so I kind of went in on him there. Nice. Sorted. We're doing good. We're, we're, we're slowly going up the ranks now. We're level nine. Level nine and a half. We went like pretty much through level nine because of that kill. There we go. It's a decent amount of regen you get from that. It's not tons. It's like 2% of your health, but it's still nice. A nice little extra added bonus to killing stuff is always good. There we go. Especially when there's a lot of minions, it ends up regenerating your health quite fast. And the cooldowns on her abilities are really low. That's why that's another thing I noticed when I first picked her up was her cooldowns are quite short, which is great for a character like her. Because you want to be able to use your stuff multiple times in a fight because you don't really have your basic attack damage, it's more reliant on like your abilities. So it's good to have them up more often. Shoot through. Cheeky right click, and they're all nearly gone. I'm not really a pusher, so I don't know why I'm pushing right now, but why the hell not, right? Uh, level the right click or level the Q? Because then, then we restore a bit more health when we kill minions. It'll go from 3% to 4. Sure. It's either extra slow and extra damage on the Q, or extra damage and extra heal off minions. I'll take the extra heal off minions, I think. And sorted. Let's pick up Kinetic. So we got more attack speed now. That definitely feels noticeably faster already, even though that was a t pretty small upgrade. That jump's so weird on her. The one thing that I've noticed is there's quite a bit of motion blur in some of the abilities, especially in Wukong's. He has quite a bit of motion blur, which I don't really like, but that's okay. And there might be a way to turn it off that I'm just unaware of, but there seems to be quite a lot of motion blur in this game, which is okay. I just prefer not having motion blur. Is he not dead? Oh, what? I thought I was just about to teleport to him, but I got stuck instead. Can't see what's happening. Uh, is it, did, no. Can I ult you? Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Get fucked, son. Don't, don't, you don't fuck with the Countess. I mean, with a name like the Countess or just Countess, you, you really shouldn't actually be fucking with the Countess. She will suck your blood and kill your family. Wow, that that got dark quick. Let's just kill these two minions. I was surprising. I, I was actually really surprised I didn't die there. It was mainly because obviously we get a 20% health heal when we kill someone, which is nice. Let's <laughs> back. We're level 10 now. We've got four more points to spend. So we can actually fully level... Uh, what's it called? Stinger? Stinger boost. We can fully level that. Gives us more attack speed. Sorted. So we've got two card points left. So we're slowly starting to just deal way, way more damage now that we're getting into the later side of the game. And we're 5-2, which is fine. 5-2 is fucking fine. I'm happy with that. I also know that I can check in the top left. I'm so bad at that. It's the same thing in Smite. If you've ever watched my Smite videos, I never look in the bottom left. That's where you can see the same, essentially the same thing that's in the top left on Paragon in the bottom left of Smite. And I always end up just holding tab. And the reason I do that is because then I can compare myself to everyone else. Instead of just looking at my stats, I can see how I'm doing in comparison to other people on my team. Because if I'm doing 5-2, but the rest of my team are 20 and 5, then I'm, I'm doing shit in comparison. So I like to be able to make sure that it makes sense what I'm saying about my KD and stuff. Not that it really matters anyway. If I'm being a team player, kill-death ratio means fuck all. If you're playing a tank, KD doesn't make a difference. Assist and D makes a difference, I suppose. I'm just helping clear this now. I'm slowly starting to notice that we're dealing way more damage. <laughs> we're actually, like, doing something now. Early on in this match, we were doing nothing. Like, we, we were genuinely doing really little to no damage. And now it's starting to pick up. Now there's only one minion there. Not worth doing. Ah, God damn it, I want big groups of minions. Where you at? Is this down as well? It is. 
I think she saw me, but... Oh, we hit her. 230. Nice. Let's use that too. Uh, I think I might back up here, actually. Just so we can go pick up another card and regen our mana. She's very mana hungry. Way more than I remember her being when I first played her, but that's fine. I don't mind all that much. What are we going for? Uh, that's nice. Ability, pen, and health. But I could maybe do with a bit of extra... Cr I think I might go for Blade of Agora. I think I might discard f this one and get Blade of Agora there. Yeah, let's do that. Sounds good. Great, because that gives extra crit damage. Because we're quitting... We're quitting. My bloody tongue tie. We're critting quite often. Uh, and having those crits deal a bit more damage is, is always nice. Let's kill these guys. Yes! We deal so much now. Holy crap, and our attack speed's way higher than before. God damn. Look at this. Okay, it deals... No we deal 90 with a normal hit, which is kind of still crap. But 133 with a crit, which is happening quite often. That's good. And then we heal up as well from killing minions. Like the perfect jungler right now. Holy shit. Monkey man, are you ready to go down, boy? I'm gonna take you down. You're a level above me, but I'm gonna take you down, boy. I, I did just get rid of a lot of your health, actually. Oh, come on. My ult was so close. You have to be, like, point blank range to do it. Yes. You're dead, son. Nice. Wow, frame rate dipped so hard there. Sorry. I've had weird FPS issues with this game. Sometimes in the menus, it'll drop really low, and I don't know why. It's not anything else running on my PC, because I've got, like, a hardware monitor up so I can check what my GPU is doing and what my CPU is doing. And Paragon sometimes just goes really weird. Also, for the first match I play in a, in a day, or, like, in a system boot, essentially, my hard, like, my hard drive essential speed will just be capped out because it's loading in the map. And then any game after that will be fine because it's probably got it preloaded or something. I don't know exactly how it works. But essentially, hard drive usage goes through the damn roof the first match I play of, of like, every time I turn my PC on. Hopefully that made some sort of sense. You probably don't care anyway, but whatever. Let's back. We're level 11. We are 6-2 to two now. I think I can easily kill somebody if I've got my ulti up, which is a good thing, all things considered. So this is... Okay, I've just got myself set up to max out the power on this thing. Okay. So right now, how often is our ultimate up? Wait, wait, I was about to say 75 seconds. I can't actually see, can I? I guess I just have to judge it next time I use it. Can you not do that, please? Can, can you not? What the fuck was that damage? Was that his ultimate or some shit? That was ridiculous. Where the fuck did he pull that from? That's his ultimate, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Plasma Bolt 369. I took so much damage from, like, one thing there. You can see that was the Murdoch doing all of that, but holy crap, like the shotgun blast, whatever it was, dealt stupid amounts. The fuck? I haven't played against Murdoch before, or with him or anything. Nice one. She just fucked the Wukong up. Like, really badly. We've got 40 seconds now to respawn. Why? Respawn times are so long. I understand why they're long, because the MOBA and everything, but man, 40 seconds? Sucks. I'm going to be here forever. Although Wukong on their team has got like 55. What's he got in the Wukong? 3 and 8. Their healer's 0 and 5, which is fine as the healer. Uh, the Murdoch's actually only 7 and 5. I'm actually doing the best here. Yay. Kill death wise, at least. Probably not team wise, but my KD looks pretty. That's always good. I've nearly got enough to get the... Yeah, there we go. I've nearly got enough. Strike. Hell yeah. We are, we are pumping out the damage, that's for sure. Any other cards here that are cool? Micro Strike. 54 power that's giving him now because he's just got major cast strike minor cast. Okay That's for lifesteal Assassin's ward Place a shadow ward. Okay, that's cool All right, I'm getting a hang of the items now kind of starting to get used to them and what they look like and stuff Let's go kill the green thing don't know what it's called yet, but it's the green thing the green monster It's like a fire hulk hulk fire hulk. What's it called? Jungle buff, shield that- it's just called jungle buff, shield that explodes when removed. <laughs> is that like the official name? It's- it's the shield that blows up when it gets removed. I really hope that's like the genuine name of that buff. Like on the wiki and fucking everything. I really hope it is, because that's like a kind of funny joke. That is probably not a joke on purpose, but... I heard a sound effect. Where you at? Where you at? Oh! Where'd you go? Where'd you- No. Oh! Okay, I'm not gonna chase you anymore. I gave up. Fun though. <laughs> it's fun scaring the shit out of people when they don't expect you to be there. Oh, I missed these two guys in the front. So I was too far out. Okay. Oh well. Our attack speed's so fast. God damn. Alright, there we go. I'm slowly getting used to these commands as well. Not been doing it in the video because I haven't really felt the need to. Close. There we go. 
uh, level the ultimate again. But yeah. The commands are cool. Also, the way you can communicate in the lobby is really different. The way you can like hover over a character or another person in your lobby and say something specific is really, really cool. That I haven't actually seen been done anywhere else, so that's nice. It's a nice little touch that you might not have noticed, but if you hit C, you can get like a bunch of options, which I think is really cool. Can I take this out now? Probably not. You know what I'm going to try to do anyway? You know what? No, actually, we're going to run. We're going to run. We're running. We running. We running, boys. We running, boys. Do a little bit of a side jig. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> that just got me killed. Whip crack. Wow. Whip crack was one hell of a whip crack if I ever did say so. Holy crap. Is she like a melee character, Yin? I've never played against Yin before either, so like, that was ridiculous. I don't like, I think I think I got critted. I think that might have been her basic attack, but the whip crack sound effect was cool. Uh, and we've fully leveled that too, so we get the 100% crit bonus. All right, we're starting to deal a lot of damage. I don't know what to get in the rest of these, but we'll see. Viper Bolt, uh, Chrono Spike actually, for mana and power. I think we'll go for that. Hell yeah. Oh wait, we lost our left phoenix. Or what's it called? Uh, I can't remember the name of it now, but we've lost it. Crap. Come on. Wukong killer. Wukong. Don't let her get away. There we go. Nice one. Freaking what's his name? Revenant got it sorted. Revenant's a lot of fun. You have to be pretty damn accurate, but he's a hell of a lot of fun to play. He's actually pretty I was actually pretty good with him in the match I played with him. But our core is now exposed on the left side and they've got super minions. <sighs> Don't know what the name of those things are though. They're probably called Wardens or something. I don't know. You guys told me in the comments of the last video. I don't fucking remember what it was. Ah, goddamn. I'm going to go defend left lane because I've got better minions now. This wave isn't because I think it spawned before they took it down. But Oh, man. We hit so hard now. Yeah, I'm going to have to just go hold this because no one else is going to do it. We have two people just standing in spawn. Why do we have two people standing in spawn? Okay, Wukong's moving now. I don't even want to know. I'm just going to hope that they're not DC'd and they were just spending time doing other stuff. Die, minion. Okay, I think we can probably hold this. Yeah, it wasn't too hard to clear at all. All right, let's keep it Let's keep it going. I'm just going to push these minions up just to give us some time on left lane. It's sad. It sucks that they don't regen. Uh, in Smite, they regen, which is weird for me to see, like, phoenixes that don't come back. Still don't know what they're called, which sucks because I can't remember because my brain's dead. Is there anywhere I can check? No. I just tried to hold alt to hover over him, but I can't do that. Let's go take their thing out. That's a person. That's the whip lady. Run away from the whip lady. Whip lady hurts. I think maybe the reason I died to her earlier was because she's leveled. Like, in comparison, she's really overleveled. Oh, son, you came to the wrong piece. What just happened? 1,160 in three hits. Excuse me. I can understand the 170, okay? I can understand the green buff dealing damage to me, but what the fuck is 1,160 damage in three hits? How much does that equate to? That's a lot. That's like nearly 400 a hit. How are you dealing that much? It's the guy that had the cards before. That's crit. Oh, they must have been crits. Cheeky bastard. There's no way they weren't crits. I think he might have triple crit me, to be honest. He might have triple crit me. My ultimate's up again. Holy crap, the cooldown on my ultimate must be super low. I can't see my cooldowns there, which sucks. It'd be nice if there was a way I could check what the cooldowns were, but I actually have no way of checking. My ultimate seems to be up really, really often, though. Let's get a Viper Bolt. Sure. Let me get some extra crit chance and some pen. I don't know how I died so fast there. I'm guessing it was a triple crit. That's my guess. Could be wrong, though. And we got their tower out. Nice. Left lane's actually doing okay. They haven't got any minions pushed up, because a lot of the time you can get screwed by minions. Just going all the way up into your base and then ruining your whole day. But the cooldown on this ult must be tiny. I can understand why, because you have to be so close to use it. But in a, in a fight, I'm going to use that like every time now, because it, it deals a lot of damage. Like, a lot of damage. 575 ability damage, and it's like a stun for a short period of time. The only thing that's annoying about the stun um, is the fact that by the time you finish your animations, they get to move a little bit, which means I can't do the right click to damage them. So, like, you use your ability, and then they kind of get to walk away a little bit, which screws you out of the rest of it. So I guess you should use it at the end. But that defeats the point of there even being a stun there in the first place. So that, that part confuses me that they're able to move before you finished. I'm going to defend middle lane now. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't, wor don't, don't worry about it. The lane, the lane will live. I can guarantee you the lane's not going to go down right now. Please don't go down lane. It's an inhibitor. That's the name. 
Okay, I get it now. I understand the names. Oh, come on. Fuck their day up. Where's the ult? I'm trying to ult. Can't see where he is. He's this way. Okay. Can I teleport to him? Please? Ulting your face. 40 seconds is the cooldown on it. Holy shit. That's really low. They got both of our inhibitors in... Yeah. They got both of our inhibitors down. But at least my ultimate's up every 40 seconds. That's cool, right? We're going to lose this. I know. It sucks that we are, but sadly that's just how that's just how this game's turned out. I'm pretty sure we're going to lose. We could pull it back. We'd probably be better off pushing right lane because we've still got our inhibitor and our tower left. But at the same time, you have to defend these things. They've spawned the, the buff thing. Fire giant equivalent, I'm pretty sure. I'm just using smite comparisons here because it's the main game that I play that's a, similar to this. It's another MOBA. Ah, let's go and help left lane. As long as the whip lady's not here, we should be okay. I'm scared of the whip lady, okay? She ruined me. Murdoch's kind of scary, but I know I can kill him if he doesn't get sweaty crits. Because I'm like 90% sure that he killed me because of sweaty crits. There we go. My power grows. I'm fucking out of mana. I'm going to have to back. I can't push without mana because then I'm going to get killed. I'm just going to hope those minions deal enough damage to the tower. Because minions do hurt the tower quite a bit. Uh, three, two, two. Great. So we got that fully leveled now. Fantastic. Uh, level IQ. I feel like I've been competent. Can I hit Q, please? There we go. There's a delay on that for some reason. Eight and five is okay. I think we've just been a little bit, we've been a little bit unlucky, is what I'm going to say. They've had to go defend left lane now because I pushed those minions up. Nice. We need to do left. We need to do right lane. See, I think the people on right know that we need to push right because there's no super minions on right lane. There are a middle and a left now, which sucks. Well, they're saying that. They're really easy to kill. We are so fucking mana hungry. We chew through mana. I didn't realize Countess loved mana this much. Like, it really is kind of crazy how fast you can go through everything. Because your abilities use, like, a lot. Ult uses 250, and the rest use, like, over 100. So you can see why it's so easy to go through it. Like, you don't even really think about it, and your mana's nearly gone. Ah, can't fight two on one. Not even going to try. Well, the Murdoch's over on left on his own. Never mind, healer's there. Healer and Murdoch isn't that scary, though. Saying that, healer and Murdoch isn't that scary. If you get the healer out, then Murdoch will finish you, but then you've killed the healer at least. Do we go in? Ah, oh, you've got your... Oh, man. Man, I just got whipped to death. I don't know who I just got killed by. I don't know what woman it is. Seraph. Never played with Seraph before. 4-5-1 damage in one hit. Whipcrack also did 450. Is there something I'm missing? What is she building to deal that much damage? She has just got like a... That's attack speed. I'm guessing that they're crits. they got quite a high crit chance, like 32%. And way more than 32%. So I get... They're just building a bunch of crit chance. So they crit nearly every hit, right? 40% plus... 56%. So I'm guessing that they're just getting crits. Because I honestly don't know what other reason I can use to justify why I'm dying so fast. Like, look at that! Her health is gone in, like, two seconds! I'm level 15, so they're not even over-leveling me. I'm the highest level on my team alongside the Wukong. Jesus. We're all dead. I just got annihilated. The fuck? Return to the void. I deserve to be in the void, but what the fuck? Can you tell me, please, how you go 9 and 0? And how you deal that much damage. Because that just seems ridiculous. Maybe I'm just exaggerating this. But like you can see in that last fight there. When she's going against a person one level under her. She's like taking half her health off in one hit. Which seems really, really crazy. So if you can, if you can give me an explanation in the comments. I'd really, really appreciate it. Because as I said, I'm still pretty new to Paragon. Um, I still don't know absolutely everything about the game. I wouldn't say I even know half about the game, but I have fun. That match, even though we lost, was still pretty enjoyable playing Countess. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. I will see you guys all very, very soon. I would appreciate any comments that you could give me as tips or explanations. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay frosty. Man, what a cool outro screen. Look at the design. It's fucking awesome. That design is so cool. You got two stars. Woohoo! My voice doesn't go that high. <laughs> I just tried to woo and my voice doesn't go that high. Woo! No, I can't go. I can't make my voice go that high pitched. <laughs> anyway, see you guys later. Have a good one.